Hello everyone, I'm Yogesh and today I will be teaching you SQL Server. I will be continuing the previous lecture. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have covered complex queries and output clause and different library defined functions. Other than that, uh, our three topics were left. The first one is XML data type, second is hierarchy and third one is mystery. I don't know. Uh, now coming over the second topic, that is XML data type believe me this is the most uh, important feature which has been introduced in sql server 2008 they have provided an xml data type uh, but uh, in today's lecture i won't be uh, more teaching about xml data type what i will be covering is how to generate xml using sql queries as most of the time your client required xml in different formats and other things so what you can do is you can generate xml in whatsoever format he asked for from sql server you don't have to code a single line in the uh, c sharp or any of the programming language which you are using on visual studio so let's start okay now coming over and uh, first of all let me tell you about the database what I am using is I am using the Northwind data uh, uh, database which is a sample database by Microsoft you can uh, download it from Microsoft official site or codeplex and you can test these queries okay so before starting complex queries of uh, XML data type I just want to introduce you with some uh, the basic tables which I will be covering first one is the customer table I will be using this in my queries and second one is order table okay uh, I won't be using uh, like many co uh, columns from both of the tables what I will be using is first of all uh, customer name ID address and all and in the second one I will be using order ID freight uh, freight amount and ship name etc etc so won't be a big deal okay now starting from scratch uh, what I'm talking about is uh, in the SQL Server uh, 2008, they ha Microsoft has provided a feature so that you can generate XML from your SQL uh, SQL queries. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me give an example. Uh, here is the sample in which uh, it will automatically generate an XML, and it is not very good uh, good in format, but you can use it in data set. You can directly fetch it in the data set, so it will be easy so if you look at the example it is pretty complicated uh, but uh, what I what I have done is I have just specified one as a tag uh, the first column which I will specify one as a tag two as a tag three as a tag it will specify the you can uh, understand it as like a uh, level of tree XML tree so this is the first level of the XML tree Par uh, parent for this XML tree is null and what I have specified is customer ID and it I have specified it as customer uh, exclamation sign one exclamation sign customer ID what that means is customer is an element of XML and customer ID is attribute of that and you can look here here's the tag and customer is a tag and customer ID is its attribute now after than that I have specified order as a tag and its level its tag level as two and order ID as its attribute and I have specified null in it because you cannot specify uh, this is very important you cannot specify all level in a single query what you have to use is first you have to specify one level of tree then you have to unite it with the second level and third level and so on now in the second level what I have specified is two as a tag one as its parent and this is very important and specify the parent uh, parent tag main attribute which will ident uh, help SQL Server to identify that this is the uh, parent and under which these are the orders of this customer and it, it will append it after then I was, uh, applied a normal join which you can uh, which is very simple and you can do it and after than that I have specified order by order by is very important because if you want to specify an order by it will mess up all the uh, structure of example so you have to specify the order of the columns uh, or you can say elements or tags in the same sequence in which you want in your example so first one is quite complicated as I have specified for XML auto so it will generate an automatic XML and we mostly don't prefer this and even don't require this most of the time because we have to generate XML which are client uh, required by the client 
okay now coming to our custom example now here what you can see is I have specified okay let let's see oh pardon uh, let's see its output first so that it would make you more clear about this now here what I have done is I have specified an customer element with an customer ID attribute and sub tag order and with order ID attribute now this is an customer example so how I have generated this is I have specified one as a tag always you have to start with one and then I have specified null as a parent then I have specified the customer ID the parent element is customers then one as its level and customer ID as its attribute now coming to the second one what I have specified is order as an element its level as a two and order ID as its attribute and I have specified null because this has to be uh, like this has to be inputted from the second query now coming to the second query union I specified two as a tag one as a parent C as a customer ID as I have to specify that uh, for which customer these order belongs then I have specified the order ID as this this is the attribute which has to be inputted here and after than that I have applied the normal join as in this query and then I have specified order by in order by I have specified that I have to order by first customer ID and then the order ID now after this you can have a look over the example if we have generated this is not complicated this is very easy what you have to understand is uh, how you have to uh, nest the queries basically this is not the nesting because we are not specifying query into query what we are doing is we are unioning the union we are doing union to all the queries but we have to follow the hierarchy as we have following the XML type now coming to the some more complicated output now first see the output of this query what I have done is I have just generated a simple customer tag with customer ID as its attribute then an order element this is not a tag this is an element and then also an order ID this is also a not an attribute this is also an a tag so how have I have generated this there is a simple thing all the, uh, the query, uh, query will be the same the thing is I have just added exclamation element this is the directive which tells SQL Server that it hasn't it it don't have to append this order ID into an attribute. Uh, rather than that, it has to be appended as an element. And same as I have to specify in the order by clause. So here's the output. Seems easy. Yes, it is. Okay. Now coming to the third query. This is more complicated. The size of the query will grow with the nesting level. So don't hesitate or don't get fear now coming to this one what I have done is I have specified customer ID and I have pulled some of the more information now what you will see in, in this is order is a tag order ID is that uh, is its attribute and the name and freight are two elements it is very simple one as a tag null as a parent customer as an initial tag and customers as an parent tag and after then I have specified order ID and there is no element element uh, uh, exclamation element have I appended into this as clause and for the name and fright I have just appended the element so it is doing the same so what I have to do is I have to specify all the columns and in the order by clause and the output is same now coming to one more step further let's see the output don't worry about the query size it will grow okay let me close this first otherwise it will go out of the screen okay now let's see the output now here's the deal so just give me a second I got confused with something okay now it's all right okay now here's the tag customer is a tag customer ID is attribute address is an attribute city is an attribute order is an orders is an parent element the second level and the third level is order its ID and the fourth uh, and we have its element also so now hierarchy has grown to the third level now uh, what I have specified one as a tag null as a parent and city address and city address and city after then I have specified orders as an element tag basically but no information has been has to be go into this so 
it is it will act as unjust and pivot after then I specify order and its level is 3 order ID level is uh, 3 shipment ship name and flight number now in the second query I will talk about the data which has to be appended in the second level and I have to specify these parents also so uh, okay now you see the query two as a tag one as a parent just focus on this and I have to specify null as uh, there is no data or attribute which I have to append in the second tag it is just an element tag after then coming to the third one what I have specified parents all three parents and null as I don't have any data for this or orders element after than that I have a child for this and which is which are order ID ship name and flight number and it will go on uh, it will create this structure now uh, I can shorten this query in one step I don't have to specify address what I have to do is I have to specify null in place of city and address why I have done this because only customer ID can uh, show uh, like uh, can help SQL server in identifying the parent so we don't have to care about this and even in this the output will remain the same oops what the uh, oopsie uh, I have to call on the small screen and <sighs> don't worry oops one parent tag one is among the open tag what no. what I have done pardon just will take an one more second okay mm -mm -mm -mm. okay got it if I am removing those from there so I have to remove these also so now I'll they were in order by clause so that's why that caused an uh, issue don't worry about that just be open to errors they help you learn more okay now we are again ready to run the query uh, mercy god make them run make it run okay now we are again there so now coming to one more level before recording this lecture I have created different level of this query so that you can see that how much you could do with this query so you don't have to worry that you can you can do anything what you want first of all let we should watch the output of this query oops and this is the second last one so don't worry there's one only one more okay now what you can see oh oops I have done a spelling mistake doesn't matter S uh, what you have to see is there is an parent tag after then there is a customer as a child tag and it has customer attribute after then the structure of the orders remain the same so there is nothing special in it what I've uh, what I've done is one as a parent and then I have specified customer as a parent and there will be null in every query because we don't have to specify any uh, data to it any attribute to it after then I've specified level 2 as a customer ID uh, as a customer element and the customer ID as attribute and then level 3 as an orders as an uh, as an parent and with no data and after then uh, in the fourth level I have specified order as a tag, order ID as its attribute and ship and freight as an element. Now coming to the next query and this is the important one because this will help you in building all the complex queries. Now first we can see the output. Now customer as an parent, customer customers as an parent, customer as an tag, customer ID, orders and order uh, order detail and there is one more thing. There is one more tag which is of same level as of orders and has customer as an like customer uh, detail. Okay. So what I have done here is how to specify customer detail and order detail at different level as you can see they are on same level but doesn't matter they have to be on different level 
this is um, wicket truth I don't know why they have done this but there will be a reason for that but to specify it or to specify uh, tags on same level you have to give a different uh, number to them basically now you can make a decision that this is not the level number this is the level of the tree this is the just a query number you can say because uh, I cannot pull customer detail in same query as an order ID so null for others null for others now the query comes and these are the address detail for the tag and after that there is an order detail so with these queries you can probably do anything uh, and to learn more just practice these queries and this will help you a lot and you don't have to code as I told you in your programming language to build XML uh, there is one more thing you can download this query from my website textfire.in let me write it name here so that you could also reach it dot in also you can download it from wherever uh, you are accessing this video either LinkedIn or either on th the YouTube you can directly uh, download um, this query source from there and for the Northwind you can go for uh, code uh, go to codeplex website and you can download it from there have a good day keep learning and in the next lecture I will be covering hierarchy and this is also very important concept and you will feel that you don't have to really uh, my most of the emphasis is on coding less and working more so you will see this have a good day enjoy